Should you buy the Pokemon Go Plus Plus? I'm here to answer that. And the answer is yes. So let's get into it. So I got mine the day it was released. So I've been able to use it quite a bit. And as far as I'm concerned, this might be one of the best products that Niantic and Pokemon have really ever released. It is an upgrade to what we've had before in almost every single way. And its downsides are very little. So to kind of summarize everything that I think about this device, let's just do a simple pros and cons list. So let's go through the very, very short cons list. The only thing that I can think that might be like a hindrance is it's slightly larger than the original, you know, Pokemon Go Plus. Um, and even by that, it's not that much larger. And the other, I guess, downside is that it's slightly more expensive at, you know, like a little above $50 compared to, you know, the Pokemon Plus you can usually get for like usually 30. So it's like, what twenty dollars more now last con and this is probably the most important one um you can't actually turn off the vibration now this doesn't bother me that much um because usually it's not really loud enough to make people around you aware but it can so if that's like a deal breaker if you only use this in private or you know silent places that's about it but let's go through every single thing that makes this a super good purchase so let's start with some of the obvious ones this thing auto catches unlike every other device we've had so far those have an auto catched this one does and the great part is it has great connectivity which is technically another pro that at, this thing connects really well um, it catches Pokemon better than all of my devices have now I know a lot of you are gonna say well you know you could buy like a gotcha which also auto throws the difference is those are like still $40 $40-$50 so basically the same price as this but one they're cheap plastic they break the connectivity is much much worse you know they're less responsive um, they're smaller they have um, less you know utility which you know this thing also has a couple of utilities that we're gonna talk about so overall the connectivity and you know basically how sturdy and nice it is is a pro and so and like i was talking about the utility that's another pro um this has some sleep features attached to it along with you know its own little game so if you're you know looking for more pokemon this thing will get you a little bit more pokemon but yeah so it has the sleep function which you know that's pretty cool um the diff the also probably one of the biggest differences between this and the other devices with which you know even the gotchas don't have this is you can throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls with this. Now, you can't auto throw Great Balls and Ultra Balls, but you can just throw them with the button click. But the fact that we even have that is just a clear improvement to the other ones. And going along with the connectivity, one of the greatest features, which is so small, is the ability to just click on your phone and it connects over to your Pokemon Go Plus Plus. So you no longer have to, you know, click the phone click the button you just click your phone that's it that is so amazing that saves me like a lot of time and you know saves me from having to pull it out of my pocket you know sometimes while I'm at work you just want to start it up again right I just pull out my phone click the button put it back that's it no more click one click the other have both in your hand you're looking all funny not anymore now here's one thing that's debatable so i told you guys earlier that one of the cons with this is that it's larger but in my opinion the actual shape is much much better comparatively this is the perfect device to stick inside of your pocket and through your pocket click it i do that at work all the time it's flat and it's a circle so it's really easily identifiable in your pocket and you can just tap it through your pocket so you know a lot of people are embarrassed to keep something like this around including me i wouldn't pull this out in the middle of the street but i can just stick it in my pocket and click it now unlike the oh, and there's a light unlike the normal pokemon plus you can technically do the same thing but the button is much smaller um and the shape is a little less convenient to actually just stick you know in your pocket on a as like a flat surface some other things um, for, you know, the sleep and stuff like that. It has some Pikachu voice lines. If you really, really like Pikachu, that's a pro. 
Now, if you don't like Pikachu, it's still not a con because you can turn those voice lines off. So no worries about that. So that's really all I've got to say about this device. Again, recap, um, it's not crazy expensive compared to the other options. It's great at auto throwing. It has great connection. Um, I think it's a great shape. It has some cool added features. What else did I miss? It can throw great in ultra balls. I think it is really good. Now, if you play Pokemon like what every other six months, eh, don't buy it. Don't, there's no point. But if you're, you know, a pretty avid Pokemon Go player and play every couple of days, this thing is amazing. And I'd highly recommend it. And, you know, I'm not saying this because I like Pokemon Go, but I've been using this. And again, I've been using all of the other devices. And this one is by far the best device I've ever used. I'm almost surprised they waited so long to release something like this. This is really good. And that's just not, you know, I'm not talking out of my butt here. So I hope this maybe helped you if you're looking to buy one of these things. 10 out of 10. I do have a link uh, where you can buy it off Amazon if you really wanted to. Thanks for watching, guys.